Okay. Um, so let's just write to the Slack why people are not joining. Okay, so today we will just go briefly about if anyone, um, how are they feeling as well as also, so I expect at least a number of people to present, I think to go through their understanding what they managed to achieve. Uh, I, you can volunteer, especially if you haven't done before, or I will just randomly do, and it's like as if from here on, just the next two weeks, we will be as if we are in an interview session and you are either giving us a presentation of what you did that you have prepared. If you haven't been prepared, it's as if like you are just on the spot. You're asked to present one of your work. That's, that's not what you prepared. Um, so it's like consider it from here on, just it's all about, you know, every employer that we, we have talked to, they just keep saying, I don't care going through their code. Of course, their code is important, but I want them to explain it to me. And that's the only time that I, I would judge if they have done it or if they're good or not. So that basically means that we have to do the same. Um, Mondays, we're basically going to be exploring, even not only Mondays, now we'll add a few more days where you basically have to, in one week, everyone must explain their work and in a way that is understandable and it's short that you are given i will give you just a minute and so for the not for today but for the ones after this i'll give you in three minutes explain to me this and and you should be able to expect to get on the spot um okay so let's start from volunteers first, explaining what they managed to achieve and basically the the objective of last week's thing. And it's as if like that I am the employer or the whole other people are the employers and they ask you to explain what you have done, what was the purpose, what was what you managed to achieve. Okay. Okay, so Martin. Thank you uh, for the opportunity. Um, yeah, we're about and, uh, <laughs> just, just to start, I'm going to time uh, everyone so that they don't exceed more than four minutes. So try to shorten it. But if you have more, then we'll, we'll give you some time afterwards. But in this round, it's just four minutes. Oh, OK. So, so if you have presentation, quickly share my screen. Yeah, if you have presentation, you can do it later at just uh, more time at five or six minutes, but just this one is much more to take us through what you've managed to achieve. Actually, if you are if you are prepared well to give presentation, then don't volunteer on this one. Hello, Martin. Okay, is my maybe Martin? Is it mine or Martin's? Maybe Martin's. We can hear you. Okay. Okay. Then let's continue. Anyone, anyone else? Rehmet, yeah. Okay, I didn't prepare a presentation, but I will, uh, first of all, hello everyone. I will uh, tell you what I did. Uh, but so, by, by also presenting your at this GitHub, uh, something just so that we can see. Okay, uh, I should share? Yes.
maybe I should show you my GitHub, my code from Visual Studio. Yes, you can. Exactly. Well, anything that's. Yeah. Can you see it? Yeah. What I did was I did to front end uh, applications for the web app and the mobile app. This is the full for mobile and this one. And I deployed my smart contract on hard hat. So if I start from the admin panel, I try to, I created for the admin panel a, a form. Here it is, a form where he can, uh, input uh, device uh, accounts on the blockchain uh, for our page, longitude, latitude, and uh, time duration. Uh, and also a place where you can see uh, the ones that he uploaded. So maybe I can show you uh, the front end part. Let me just finish this one. And uh, the mobile app. Mm. What I did was just an interface. The mobile app is not fully working, but I did what, what I did was just this one a code that can show me the location of the user, la lifetime, and the one that can send. But uh, the sending is not working because I couldn't connect my mobile app with MetaMask on mobile app. But the admin panel on the web app, it does connect with the MetaMask from extension. Uh, my smart contract is here. These are the parameters I used, long to like to do, time limit. Uh, I try to, this is the setting for engage employee, engage employee by their address to see their specific uh, inputs or fields the long latitude. I connected them with my mapping and struct to connection. Uh, and I try also to do a function which checks if the user exists. Uh, so if the mobile art work, uh, I would have used this function, but I, I did include it here. So just to show you the admin panel interface, I'm, I'm going to share again. Uh, can you see it? No, no, we can see. So if you could unshare and share. Sorry, this my computer has stuck. Maybe we will come back to you, just that you will share with us. Or are you going to, is it, yeah, is it back already? Yeah. No. Yeah. Okay. Just share it. And... This is admin uh, form, the one I talked to you. Uh, it's the one I did on the March table, but uh, I provide the Code and show you if you want. Just to save time, I'm showing you this image that I screenshot. This is to for the device registration. We can connect with the wallet and add the accounts on the blockchain. And this is you can see all the blockchains he added. And when he click info, he can see their information for two stairs, stage timestamp, uh, longitude and latitude. So this, been, this is what I did so far. Great. Great. I think very good on time. And also just, yeah, good that you went through. Okay. Uh, Martin, do you have a presentation or do you want to go the four minutes? Oh, yeah. Sorry for that. Uh, I had lost my connection. Just let me Don't share worry. again.
Yeah, uh, so <clears throat> are you able to see my screen? Yes, we do. Yeah, so basically what I was doing was that uh, I was getting, I have like uh, three, just a moment, let me. I have three peop, I have three addresses that uh, are attached to this particular application. So it's just uh, for the purposes of proof of proof of uh, concept. So there are just three. There is employee one, em employer, and employee two. And so uh, once and just behind the scenes, like right now, currently the one that uh, I want to uh, deduct the transaction from this is I want to send it particularly to employee employee two. So uh, for that is in behind the scenes, that is the uh, the particular employer who I'll get that location's details. And if I click over here, it actually will mention whether that particular that particular person is within the range or is not within the range. And if they are within the range, then uh, I can be able to go ahead and uh, send the transaction. If it wasn't within the range, then you can't be able to send the transaction. That is uh, to make the payment uh, for that particular person. And if if they are without the range, let me just like, for example, if I do this, So this is, I should have added just that, I should have actually added that um, particular part. So I'll just say connect, connecting. Yeah. So uh, for this particular part, for this particular employee, because it goes behind the scenes and just checks whether they were within the range that was specified, uh, I was just using the uh, maximum latitude, maximum longitude. I was using it like boundaries, like uh, the one that we did with the leader data. So I was using that as boundaries to do the calculations, and then once it calculates, it's find it's within the range, then it executes the transaction. Everything goes through. Uh, I haven't yet done the part of uh, actually getting back. Like, uh, if if in if in any case they are out of compliance, that it refunds the particular uh, it refunds the particular employee. Uh, for now, it's just like a forward process. It just checks whether they are within. Uh, if they are not, it won't make the payment. That's that's what it does. It won't like make the payment. That's I, I did it that simple. I, I think I got caught up with time. Yeah, but um, okay. Oh. So great. Okay. So I, I think you know, one other advantage sometimes doing what you can do is great that you complete something. Of course, this is absolutely not related to the project. In a sense, it, it, it has some pieces, but of course, it's not uh, directly related, right? So I mean, we want something to send without checking and only the check should happen in the contract. But, you know, one of the advantages sometimes is, for example, this, your presentation, when I tell you like to present would be even better and awesome if you were saying like in the beginning, if you state, okay, the objective of this was X, Y, Z, but due to time I had to compromise and I had done actually another alternative problem, like which was, okay, I will use this thing, checking, for example, somewhere else. Now you're checking the, whether the address is within or not, within the range or not, in the web tool. What I asked it was to check in the web three, right? So it's a completely different, um, because in the web tool, we know it's just simpler. You can use all, all form of computation to do that. So you are actually replace substitute the problem and solve the problem. So it's good, it's okay. It's just that in the presentations, usually you have to speak with the objective and what you have done and how much of it is addressed. And you know what, you already said it at the end, but it would have been even better if you say it in the beginning at uh, that one. And then I want you to just to show your smart contract, just uh, it's out of time, but let's just give it like 30 seconds to show us what you managed to achieve in the smart contract.
Martin, are you there? You're on mute if you are speaking. Uh, let me share my screen. Moment, I open the yeah. So, um, Yeah, so uh, basically what I was doing was uh, I was getting the I was getting I was getting the minimum the I was passing in uh, in the in the in the in the front end function uh, the latitude and the longitude and the timestamp. Then uh, in the back and now this is in the con uh, in the contract I was actually Just speak only I'll speak only on the contract side just for now. Okay. Like okay. I was yeah. Like I was just adding. I was adding the minimum latitude, the maximum latitude, minimum longitude, maximum longitude. Then I check whether it's just a moment. I check whether it's uh, in in between the range. That is, the latitude is uh, greater than the maximum latitude. Latitude let, less than the minimum latitude. If it's if it's within the range, it will just say that. It's uh, if it's without the range, it will say out of range. If it's uh, within the range. Yeah, I should have also added, uh, though that only says on the front end, uh, then longitude, maximum longitude, ma minimum longitude, then uh, the same case, uh, out of range, out of range, in case it's out of range, that is uh, with the comparison. Then uh, for the device, just uh, simple checks. So when, when you begin, uh, you'll just uh, begin by in, in just- so For example, Martin, just one, one comment. I told you in 30 seconds. Okay. So uh, how would you immediately, you know, take notice this immediately you would be considered, okay, you know, you don't listen to me kind of, you know, if you, if it's a job employer, so you have to be like your, the first instructions that someone gives you, you have to take it very serious and then present that and say like, okay, do I have time or something? And then you continue, but not over continue. That's, that's, you know, for example, one thing that you should improve, like you should hear the first instruction. I want it in 30 minutes, or sorry, in 30 seconds, right? So it's okay, I'm just really giving you, those are what an employer is kind of, will be looking at, like, okay. you know, how are you listening? Like the instructions, um, because it's implement. Okay, great, so in that sense, for example, you know that in 30 seconds, you don't have time to show all those elements of details, Instead, you would have shown, okay, here is the function, like this does that, this does that, and this does that, right? Because it's 30 seconds. In a realistic way, you can't do much more than that. So I can see from your code, you are ingesting the telemetry, you're checking range, and you're delegating responsibility, and you're completing it. Great. Yeah, does that make sense? So it's just, this is, you know, from the next two weeks, I will be very harsh because we don't care how much, you know, sometimes you do, we want you to get a job and we want you to, we, we basically are not personal. We're not treating anything personal. We want just to try to mirror whatever an employer will do. An, an employer will not tell you that. They will, an employer will just assume something good or bad, but uh, they might be very happy that you are enthusiastic. So that's a good bonus, but sometimes overtime has some other disadvantage, a lot more disadvantage, but very good. I mean, so one, one question just for you is that you have already done, like you presented, I don't know when, very well the structure you understood. So what took time? Uh, so basically, for the part that took time, there was a, a particular integration that I was making on uh, the React. I was using React Native, 
And so when I was trying to just route the pages because uh, it, I had not really, I wasn't really familiar with React Native. So that's uh, what really uh, took much of my time. And th th that's what translates to why uh, uh, for that particular case. Okay, good. Because yeah, you had a, an early start. You had understood the structure of the contract and all that. So it must have been exactly that optimization. Good. Okay. So, Binium, you have four minutes. So, this one took almost 10 minutes. So, you have. Okay. Can you hear me? Yeah, we can. Okay. Okay, let me share my screen quickly. Okay. Uh, are you seeing my screen? Yes, we can. Okay, so uh, I'm going to take you through quickly. Uh, so my Medium blog uh, that I published uh, on Friday, uh, on Saturday. So the first part is basically giving you some uh, insights uh, into what the project is going to be about uh, and uh, some basic concepts in Ethereum and blockchain. Uh, I don't think I have time to go through this, so I'll just go straight to the project plan. So um, this is the project plan I kind of started to implement. Uh, if you, I'm not sure if you can read it, but yes. there is a web app, smart contract backend, and uh, a mobile app. So on the web app side, there will be uh, an option for the employer to add an employee address and uh, associate some geographic uh, boundary as well as a budget uh, for uh, remaining in that specific geographic boundary for a certain period of time, create a transaction with above user that in same transaction, and then create another transaction transfer the required budget to the smart contract. This is basically the employer's uh, part. Smart contract and will have the ability to store list of users and associated information in the back end after the transaction is verified. And then when users request for the requirement, verify their identity and send their specific location requirement. Uh, okay, uh, yeah, so let me just show you what uh, the code execution looks like. Basically, the technologies I used are this React libraries. Specifically, the ether.js is what I used to. To, to make connection with the uh, back end, the smart contract, and as well as a Metamax uh, wallet for uh, signing the transactions and connecting to the, uh, I use the Rinkaby test network uh, and uh, Remix for developing testing smart contracts, Metamax for the wallet, and hard, I used hard hat for the test uh, in the end. Uh, and uh, React JS is used to create the admin panel, and uh, React Native is used to create the mobile app panel. So the first thing in the implementation is creating the wallet at MetaMask. This is straightforward. Just uh, reading through this, and if not following uh, the resource uh, uh, provided in this link, should uh, get you through setting up that MetaMask. Basically, uh, after setting up MetaMask, you need to choose a specific net set, uh, test network. I used Greenkeby, as I said earlier. And then uh, I went to the create um, the Remix IDE to create my application, and uh, the smart contract, uh, that means. Uh, and basically, the smart contracts will have these variables and these specific functions specified here. It will be an owner, an employee, and this, the specs will be this. That means the owner uh, will will have an, a variable for all the owner. That means we will uh, save the address of the first person that creates a contract in the employee's address array, which will hold this every employee that has been added by the owner. Uh, and the, the, their specs, that means uh, specific uh, uh, parameters that uh, the contract should include that means the center of the boundary and the radius. Yeah, I used the uh, radius and the boundary, so I, I think I'm running out of time. So, map of the speak, uh, I, I think it's a bit difficult to go through the 
uh, code right now, but basically uh, this is what I implemented in, in the end. The React app looked like this. This is where the employee will add the address, and uh, then once uh, the employee uh, comes back at some other time and pay the employees uh, with specified funding, approve the uh, payment of the employees at a specified time. So, uh, yeah, the codes are all listed here. So maybe if I have time, may, I'll always through them later on. Yeah, uh, I think I'm I think out, out, out of time. That's good. You're aware of your time. That's very good. I thought you wouldn't notice, but good. So the mobile app, is it also working? Is it sending transaction? Unfortunately, I have managed to uh, make the mobile app uh, load the location, but for some reason it's not sending. In fact, the remix ID is not working for me either. For at some point, it started to not send <laughs> any transaction whatsoever. I'm not sure exactly why, but I'm just going to try it again and see if it's going to work. Uh, okay. Good. Okay. Nice. Um, thank you. I think that's good. Okay. Thank so, Abel. Okay. Hello. Hello. Hi. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. You have four minutes to go through. Thank you. Let me share my screen. Can you see my screen? Yes, we can. Okay, just to make it short, uh, what, I, what, I, what I did was step by step. I set up a MetaMask split account, install a MetaMask extension uh, on my board, and load funds using a Wink API account, uh, crypto faucets. And uh, uh, I loaded with 18.8. Uh, crypto ether. The next step was uh, deploying the contract via Remix IDE. The contract looks like this. Uh, un we unfortunately, we don't see we don't see your screen changing. Can I unshare and share? Maybe un unshare and share. Or if it's just you are presenting from a medium, we can also mm. do that. Um, yeah, good. Okay, this is the code for the, the smart contract. It only has two functions, to send coordinates to the employer, to the employer and to read coordinates from the employee. And I use the smart contract for uh, only to decrypt and decrypt this reading send coordinate value uh, in the code. So this is the encryption and decryption code. From the empl employee side, um, I use ring V in Infonet to store uh, the latitude and longitude data. And I use the, uh, the MetaMask wallet account to send uh, gas fees to the smart contracts. And I use the private key for the transactions. So uh, in the employees page, uh, I, dec I uh, encrypt the longitude and latitude and uh, send it to the smart contract, to the smart contract. Then the, um, the, from the employer side, I use the same methods in front of it for the, uh, the longitude and latitudes and the same contract address. For the main for the testnet, and I use the private key on of my own account to pay the gas fees. And in this page, I use a decryption function 
that that is that that came from the smart contract that the latitude and longitude came from the smart contract uh, is decrypted here and the employer can read the longitude and latitude and to make sure uh, let me i make the flutter up demo can you see my screen no i think i'm sharing my yeah. phone yeah so maybe unshare and share because we only see the browser what about now? No, it doesn't. It didn't change. It says um, a, it's, a vertical horizontal. And now, uh, just wait a minute. I think it's just a delay. Hopefully, if you change any window, just just. Uh, I didn't change. It. I mean, it's just usually it's coming. It's slow now. Can you say purple screen? I can no. I can only see A with purple. No, not purple, but orange, sorry. Um, okay. Unfortunately, we can't see. It's not coming. So usually, it's just come show. by now. Let me show you. Where is my phone? Mm. Okay, now it came. But if you just okay. go, yeah, now, yeah, and yeah, now with purple screen, yeah. Okay, can you see my mouse moving? Yes. Okay. This is a uh, Flutter demo app. And I'm opening it. So, can you see the front page? Front page? Uh, the Eagle, yeah, and then the GPS tracker, yeah. So, this is the home page, and uh, we have a selection of admin and employee. For the, for the time sake, I only use one employee in this case. So for when we come to the employee site, it will prompt with a specific password for the employee. Uh, so it, it asks, uh, it's, uh, this is a, a form page for the employee side. And uh, there is a button for the uh, to when we turn this track location on it will uh, the app will function properly and we will get the our current uh, or the device our current devices location as latitude and longitude and we can view it in building up uh, functionality So this is our section. Okay, the so it, I think it's taking it's taking some time. Okay, but we will see the map, and okay. So okay, this is a employee the employee side interface. It can show maps and the latitude. When we come to the admin page, so you you um, are. You don't have time, so okay. Like it, so okay. what happens then? Okay, so oh. now we get the maybe just the admin. Okay, so just show the admin interface and then quickly. So the admin page is not working right now, but so wait. So the admin page will prompt us to view employer's location, and uh, we can view in a map for the employee side and uh, in the code uh, I I wrote some functionality to to pay the gas fees into and a uh, an eater money for the employee uh, for that uh, to, 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 
say for that specific locations. So we can show that in the iter scan, um, okay. iter okay. scan page. So that's Let, let's stop there just so that because it's eight minutes now. Oh, um, sorry, sorry, sorry. No, no, that's I mean again, you know, it's the same thing. It's of course the enthusiasm is good, but just like what I said to Martin, you have to know what it means four minutes. Four minutes means, of course, in your case, it's a slightly disadvantage that you have to change multiple screens. The screens didn't come, so let's say one, two minutes spent there. Uh, so still, it took six minutes, right? So in a way, of course, you cannot do that. And uh, you really have to just think in the beginning, four minutes, what it can do. Four minutes, either you, you watch your time, like what it means, or you basically just have to immediately, quickly, decrease or increase the amount of detail you want to talk um, in your head. So you just say like, okay, I'm going to really not show any variable, whatever. I'm going to just show only functions and I'm going to do this, that, that. So in a way, and it was, it was, you carried, I mean, you were, you went fast, which was good. I think you covered everything in three minutes. And then in just that demo, it took you some time, right? So, so the map, for example, you could have passed the map part, just say like, okay, the map is there. You know, and then you just move on, just um, feedback. But good. Okay. So um, I think it's Tasfai after that. Tasfai again, you have four minutes. I'm going to present your. Okay. Can you hear me? Yeah. I'm, we, ha we hear you and I'm sharing your screen, like your. Okay. Yeah. okay. Okay, guys. Okay. Uh, thank you. Um, so the, this week uh, objective of this week's challenge was to build a refund, um, a refund based on the plane or location smart contract. So we it is uh, a Web three project that handles uh, an agreement between two parties. One would be uh, an employer type. One would be an employee type or uh, someone who would have the job. And uh, what they do is the employer will submit a contract that states that um, this person have to be somewhere from, from this time to this time. And the employer have to achieve that in order to get the uh, ether or, you know, in our case, ether, but the amount that uh, the refund is going to be. So uh, the, main, the main part of the project is the solid part. Uh, we ha I have also done the flutter and uh, um, React also React will be for the admin panel, which for the employer in our case, and uh, the Flutter will be for the employee in our case. Um, yeah, and also uh, keep in mind that this code has been written uh, in like three days maximum: Friday, uh, Saturday, and Sunday. So uh, keep in mind that just to tell you something. So here on the solidity here, you, you, you can see that um, we have a, a contract called the refund. It holds an employee which has ID, name, and an address. Uh, an employer, the same, uh, and uh, a contract data. So uh, I don't think this is the latest contract data. So can you go to the um, contract branch? Sorry, contract branch, the branch. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, this is the latest one. Okay, so uh, the contract uh, contract actually before has been updated like this. So the contract will have the uh, it has boundary like type of thing like we did on the PyLeader challenge to find um, if if the point is found inside the uh, some polygon. So it will have the maximum and minimum pointers, and it will have a starting time, duration, last check time, um, gathered location counts, uh, contract. Tools, which is it, it has uh, it, it the employee has been out of the boundary or not, and uh, payment amount which the employer has to input and the employee and the employer, so those two parties. So um, the, those two, the, there there are mappings between the address and uh, employee, employer, and also the contract. So here one problem uh, we could face here is um, one one employer address can 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 have. A contract data. So when we access, if if uh, the employee have two contracts, we will not have the contracts. So that will be a problem. But it will be a problem for the future. For now, I just used this one mapping. Um, so the first two functions just initialize um, an employer and an employee. 
uh, if you shouldn't have uh, one. And uh, some, the, the second two functions are the, the actual functions that does that. And the third and fourth one, yeah, those are the the ones that actually does the creating the mapping. Uh, the fourth and fifth uh, functions, yeah, those uh, create contract data. So this function will be used for the employer. The employer will use this function to to uh, create the, the contract and it will be stored in the contracts mapping. So whenever, so it will be mapped through an employee, an employee address. So when an employee uh, logged in or someone, we can get uh, contracts using his address. So if he has two address, it will have the latest address. So that's a problem for me, but we will continue. So the fifth function I think is uh, get location. So this is the main function that the employee will call. So the get location function, what it does is it, it will find the employee. So the employee can be found with the employee address that is going to be sent. It could be MSG to uh, MSG to send. We, you can use that too. Then the found contract can be found from the mapping from the found employee. So uh, after that, it, it will check if the contract has been completed. Is it is completed or not? So if it's not, so then the duration will be calculated. So. We have this part, the starting point as an input, so after that it will uh, subtract from the starting post from now up to the starting time. It will divide by six so that we can say we can get a minute. So we have we also have inputs as a, as a duration. So we will compare those two, and if it is uh, more than the duration, so that means it has been completed. So after the completion, we have to check the if it is the gather location count. So gather location count, what it does is it counts the uh, how many times these uh, location has been hit so it will count the so let's say if uh, an internet is lost and for some minutes this person has not uh, uh, called this, this function so it will it, it will count that uh, get location function and it will check if that uh, location is I, I just uh, uh, make it three of, over to four so that one over four time it may not get an internet to do that so it will check that also, and the, the final uh, if function that checks the minimum point long and latitude is the main function that checks if the, the, if the point is uh, inside that boundary. And if it, if it does, the contract route stays true. If it doesn't, and if it doesn't work, then that means the contract truth will be false. That means the contract can, uh, is not fulfilled. And after that, the, the, um, the uh, uh, what does it the contract will be we will be fortified and uh, the failed event will be called so this this function has not been tested. i have been adding some uh, more uh, features into it the one that you saw earlier has has been tested but this one has not been tested so i will have to test uh, this one i have added some uh, events also on this uh, um, function and if you, if you can go on screenshots maybe we ha i have i don't think i have the latest one but i think you i have, don't the, have uh, time but okay. um so is it on, on which one? On the main, on the main branch, I think. Uh, where is it? Um, in the exercises uh, mobile app, or? I think, no. No, it's not here. Maybe in Maybe. the admin access mobile app. Admin panel, check admin panel, please. It okay. has not been uploaded. Okay. 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 It's okay. So I'm out of time, good. by the way. Okay. Yes. <laughs> but, uh, we uh, are out of time, and yeah. I just was um, okay. So again, you have to just basically. It was good, good start, but you went into detail for the four minutes. So okay. what the person in four minutes wants, basically, but it was good. Your, your presentation at the beginning again. It went carried on um so i would say almost always just listen what it means that four minute and then even if the person is allowing you to continue make sure you don't make sure you just ask do i have time you know should i continue or should i wrap up just cut it you know you don't gain much like you can be enthusiastic in the beginning and then at the four minute recognize that the person has said for what reason it could be or a simple reason, just a simply four minutes, or it could be like so strict that if, if you don't fulfill the four minutes, I'm not gonna consider you. So you don't know which one it is, right? It could be just randomly he says, or she says four minutes, 
or they could be just really using that as a way of like knowing what you know whether you take instructions uh, uh, very carefully or not. So I would say you don't gain much by not pausing and saying like, okay, I recognize my four minutes is over. I tried to finish, but I think we can stop here. But if you want more, you know, we can go. Through. That is oh. what I want you just to do. Okay, great. Um, okay. Let's continue. Okay, good morning. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay, uh, uh, as we know, we all of us have the challenging documents so that we know the uh, uh, challenge what's provided. So the, uh, let me share my screen and let me explain how do I approach the challenge. Okay. So are you able to see my screen now? Yes, we do. So how do I approach the challenge? Firstly, I try to build up my architecture of my app. So I will have a home page so that the home page will have an employer page and extended uh, uh, employee page. So the employee, the employer uh, I think there is a, a name change here. The employee only have one contract, which can have the location of uh, location status of the, itself, the device, and the employer ha, has another contract, which transacts the payments plus view uh, the map on the, the the employer on the just, map. Just just one comment here. I think it's uh, a few people keep saying that you mean this the contract call, right? So these are basically the functions. Yeah. Okay. So the contract will have uh, four contract calls. Okay. Go on. So uh, what I use uh, two individual contractors. The one, the first contract from the uh, employer employee side will uh, send automatically the location of the. So again, uh, can you please correct? Contract? Just don't say contract because it seems like you have now written many contracts, and you not a contract yeah. call. Okay, okay. So, I mean, this so, is key, like, um, okay, go on. Okay, so uh, I have a, pri a privilege for the employer, so it can see the G GPS location of the device and it can see the updates one on uh, map. Uh, so, firstly, I run to the <coughs> to the remix to uh, implement my contracts, deploy my contracts. So what I simply uh, 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 try to script was, uh, I try to set up the, my value uh, uh, and set up the employer and the employee. And I give a synthetic values for the distance. What I am assuming here is that uh, uh, I can have a ge geographical location altitude and uh, the longitude. What I'm going to do, there is a base station for the employer and the employer will move around and there is a maximum distance which can be working, uh, moving with work. So I set up the maximum and the minimum distance and, uh, and, and he, uh, as soon as he is working on the range between the nearest distance to the base station, which, which is the location of the employer and the maximum distance away from the employee will give him a payment. So the I declare my st status of the accountants, which can provide uh, asset creation and uh, I mean account creation, locking the account, relate the account, and sometimes if it requires inactive uh, inactive the uh, the account. So based on that, uh, I try to set up some uh, requirements before. Uh, one is from Ethereum. Uh, uh, from the Ethereum requirements, so that everyone uh, wants to transaction should have its times of uh, amount. So I add that one, and on my uh, contract, basically, to, uh, I will I, I try to check the current status of the employer, and based on the employee, if it he, the employee is between the maximum and the minimum distance away from the base station, the transaction will be covered up. So that I try to deploy this application. When we come to this, this is a deployment uh, uh, port. So I try to uh, use one address for the employer. 
so I deployed the oh, sorry sorry I set up the values to uh, because uh, here I see that two times there is a two times uh, requirement for the uh, transaction so firstly I declare the my uh, initial value so let me uh, get it to so I deploy my contrast and my uh, the uh, application will de uh, deploy like this so we, I will have uh, those options I can abort the transaction I can confirm the location of the the employee the employee and I can pay them and the uh, say the uh, employer the employee will send its location within a specified time range so that once he sends the uh, location the employee try to confirm its location and then apply uh, pay the for the employee by just uh, paying by pressing this one so here I am uh, acting as like an employee employer so let me just in end and try to send the location I am acting as a, an employee so once uh, as you see here I, I have a good transaction here so once I send the, the location the employee try to check the location of the uh, employer so then once this happens or, or the location is confirmed the employer just go and try to pay the employee so once this is complete once it's complete i try to uh, take this uh, i mean this uh, contract contract and apply here as you see here is my uh, uh, page or dot uh, solo file con my contract and there is a, a location tending contract here so i will uh, uh, the main purpose was i i just directly import this uh, this contract here and use those uh, locations current status which come from the employee so i, I that, have to stop you We're just out of time okay. it's already six minutes oh, uh, but you, you have 30 seconds to finalize so based on that i try to integrate this one uh, with the Flutter app, I, I was expected to, uh, to deploy with the Flutter. And once I complete this, uh, the, my traffic runs. Sorry, please start a second. And uh, I try to integrate the GPS location. Actually, there was a dependency in the GPS in the Flutter I developed, so uh, it was not uh, able to run. Uh, this is the status. Good. Okay um great uh, i think this is good so you, you basically have now multiple contracts that yes. are active like so yeah is okay so that you should have then clarified i thought you have one contract and multiple contract calls in this case you are but how are, are they all calling each other is there a wrapper like what the, the 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 page o already uh, tries to receive the I, I mean i import the second contract which is from the client side into here the uh, main contract which is uh, provided for the employer so it imports us and try to track the locations by calling this this function it will collect those gps locations and based on those locations it computes the distance from the main the base station and then apply the transaction so, so you basically split the different actions into multiple contracts and then yes. once you receive you call those contracts to for example for checking and stuff yes yes okay right thanks okay so um i think you know it's just out of you know it's interesting discussions but again you took i think you know you started at 49 and you're not 57 so eight minutes again um the two minutes I allowed you, like in the discussion, but the two other minutes were basically. Uh, so now you have to stop now. Okay. So, unfortunately. Okay. And Yudidia, so I, I I know that so in this case Yudidia, you you at least um, uh, ever told me that you have prepared presentation. Yes. Okay. 
So you have, I think that's what I was asking, if anyone was prepared, this will be the time. So you have, for how long are you going to present? Uh, six to seven minutes would be enough. Okay, so you have eight minutes. Okay. And uh, so go on from 58. Great. Uh, let me just go over the slides. I think we all know the problem statement. It's hard for employer, for employers to track their employees. So we developed a blockchain system which will track employees in a distributed manner and send the location of each employee uh, at a random basis uh, and calculate the distance between the specified location and the employee's coordinates. Uh, but here more works need to be done because the earth shape is not exactly flat and the exact calculation or the the straightforward mathematical calculation won't work. We will have to use some reversing algo algorithm for workaround, but that's a work to be done in the future. The text stacks I, I have used for the smart contract or Ethereum, I use Solidity to write the smart contract, hard dart for smart contract deployment and verification, Chai, the JavaScript uh, framework for testing, as well as Solidity coverage to check the test, the Solidity contracts that have been tested and I've deployed it to a ring test uh, for the admin panel, I've used React to TypeScript and style components for styling and iterate wallet for wallet integration. And for the mobile app, I've used Expo, which is a cross-platform application to work for iOS as well as for Android. Uh, it's a bit a lighter version of React Native and Expo background fetch. Expo background fetch is it will run the application in the background. The application shouldn't be stopped, but uh, if the application is fully stopped or completely uh, stopped, it will run on the background and it will use the systems or the mobile task manager to interact with it and it turns on the mobile application. One thing I've observed is that uh, it's too expensive to use the current blockchain to send transactions because uh, one Ethereum is about $1,200 in USD and uh, when testing for refunding or just creating an employee, it took about 2.58 uh, USD on average. So it is too expensive and we'll have to develop our own blockchain system. For, so for the future work, as a future work, uh, I plan to build a payable module integration if the employers want to pay uh, using guitars, but currently it only works, it doesn't have any payment integration. The smart contract has been written, but it hasn't been integrated. So it, uh, the application has been, uh, yes, has been deployed to Netlify and I will open it. This is the admin dashboard and on the admin, the admin can first connect to the MetaMask. I will use my admin to connect. And once connected, the, the, the admin can add an employee or even list out or all employees. So I have only added a single employee. The, the, what will include is it will include the name, the address, the latitude, the longitude, and the distance. And it will also check the status. So for the status, it's, it, it returns the verification status and the compliance, not complied, but the compliance. And I have used the timestamp uh, statically. So I think it won't work now. I have used the range between uh, 6 a.m. I think 6 a.m. to 12 p.m. I don't think it will work now. And it will have the pay uh, functionality, but it won't, it's not completely integrated. The smart contract has been written, but not integrated with the front end. Let me just add an employee. I will use, uh, my employee's address, my name may be Paul. Load distance may be 20 and I will add the employee. This will take a bit of time between, because it's uh, equal to the smart contract. While this is, uh, while this call is going on, let me just share my screen and my mobile screen. So I can show you. Uh. Okay, can you hear me? There was an echo, but there is an echo. Uh, okay, well, let me. What about her? No, I think there is an echo. Maybe. Hmm. You, you can mute one device. Uh, no, mute it. Like, I think you're not, maybe, okay. uh, I don't what know about what. Her? Yeah, okay, speak now. Okay, what about her? Now is good. Okay, sorry for that. Uh, I think it has gone through, and if I now list the employees on my, uh, uh, 
I don't think it's there yet. Okay, I'll try to add the employees again. Okay, now it's mining on the web application for the admin panel. Uh, and once it's done, uh, this is the, maybe you can see, it can pin. Uh, yes, I think it's completed on the, Yes, I think I did that uh, twice. But uh, if you come in my mobile screen on your uh, computer, this is what the homepage of the mobile application. I can add my public address, and it will use the employers or the admins. Uh, uh, so, to send. so we we okay. So there are. I'm not sure. I think there are two screens. Maybe can you? Okay, I'm just trying to search one because I only see one. Uh, and then there is also UDD and other ones. So I'm just checking. So the other one is empty. And then UDD has three. Okay, I think. So for me, I don't see it. I only see one okay. screen. What about and it? Now it's coming in. Okay, great. Uh, can you see the screen? Yeah. Okay, great. So this is the homepage of the mobile application. The employee can add his address and get started. Uh, let me just copy the address of the, sorry, the address of the employee. Now, when I copy the address and paste it, I can get started. And what it says is you are all set. Now the employee can uh, maybe log out, not log out, but just can uh, keep it running on the background. But for now, uh, I will test it. Uh, uh, the first thing it will uh, prompt is it will ask me to allow locations. I will allow it for for now, and it should be running. It will take a bit of time because it's calling the transaction first. It, it's uh, getting my coordinates and finally calling the smart contract. It's mining, if you can see on my computer. Okay, let's go to that one. Um, yeah, it is mining, okay. Yes, and it's, it's finally completed. So now if I go to the employees admin panel, let me just stop sharing my screen from my mobile phone. Uh, and if I check the status of the employee, it's verified, as you can see, it's verified. The verification has been done, but it has not complied because the timestamp is out of range. But for the future, I think of implementing the timestamp uh, so that the admin can add the timestamp that he wants the employees to be in range for the compliance to be verified. Okay, so you are now one minute over. You are now nine minutes. Do you want to have 30 seconds you want to add? Yes, I, I think I, I, I've finished my presentation. Yes. I'm Great. Finished. Awesome. Okay, well then, I think that's a good presentation and also just, you just have to cut one minute, but then you are also on time, that's that's good. Okay, now I am a bit, so we have to ask, okay, uh, Rahmet has presented, she has led the women part, but what about, and also I think there is one thing that I keep noticing, almost everyone, including Rahmet, we're referring the employer and employee as he. So it's something that you have to be aware that people notice, you know, absolutely. And if you can use either a very generic term, because you are working in the international setting, in the international setting, this is very important that you also, you know, just the details, you have to get it right. And, and it's very safe if you could say they, and internationally in the workspace, it's much easier to refer even an individual nowadays as by the terminology they. 
or if you don't want to do that, you can also refer at least one of them interchangeably, he or she, uh, such that you don't have like only one gender of speech. Okay, just just know that I notice and know that almost everyone, especially the employers, notice. And it is better just to keep noticing that, especially Martin, EDDI, and all that you presented, you should be taking into account, okay, you know, what can I interchangeably call? Um, I think getting conscious of it is a, a bit tricky because it's very detailed and it's in the flow. Usually you really don't even notice whether you used he or she, but I would really say, um, you know, keep, keep, or don't try to, you can also use one, like, you know, one can do this, one can do that. Um, and just avoid that one. But it is something that you have to pay attention. Now I want one presentation from another female uh, trainee. So who is going to be willing? Four minutes. So should I call randomly or? Okay, Nardos, go on. You are mute. Is Nardos gone? No, she's here still. Nardos. Okay. No, we can't hear you, Nardos. Okay. In the meantime, think about your summary of the current Today's presentation, as well as also your readiness for job. And I will ask a number of people who presented or not presented to give comment. Okay. So just think about your summary of like, where are you now? How do you feel in terms of job readiness, self evaluation, and why? Um, and that would be just a one minute summary. Nardos, are you still trying? So we can't hear you. Okay, while Nardos is preparing, anyone else, any female trainee wants to go? It is not only what you manage, I don't know, something that's working that you have to present. It's what you have attempted. A week full of effort. Some that works, great, that you just managed to do it. Some you just attempted and somehow did the work. That's also fine. So now I'm going to ask a, a reason. Matilda, why are you not raising your hand? Can you hear me now? Hello? Okay, Matilda can't speak. Hikma, why are you not raising your hand? Yeah, but presentation, most people were not ready for presentation. 
but it's just about really talking what you manage to do in one week. It's not about presentation. I mean, it's really about, so could you, could you just tell us your understanding what went on last week, Tikma? own the effort so the effort you put whatever it was successful not successful it doesn't matter own it i think that's the most important element you could do now is to really own the little things that you have done it is not the big things only that you have done you want to own everything that you have done you have put time you must own it owning means to be able to talk about it you know it's like your baby if you are really ashamed of it then you don't own it. Then it's really a, a thing. So whatever it is, you must own. No, I think I understand Hikma. It is not really whether you understand or not. It's about whatever effort you put, just stay less. I'm I'm because at this point it is not it is more of a psychological thing than um, a work, a skill. It is not about readiness. I know you, you could just say like, please just don't, but I think it's not about the, you know, it's not about really the work that I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to see. I think that will get improved. What will not get improved is ownership of your work and your effort. And I want you to start doing that now, if you can. Of course, if it's over, you really don't want, then it's okay. Um, hello. Hi. Great. Hi. And I'm really happy you just managed even to speak instead of taking the shortcut. Good. Go on. Um, yeah. Uh, I'm the whole week I am trying to try understand the Ethereum blockchain and set up the hard uh, different hard hat yeah. uh, tree uh, brownie and uh, try to um, implement uh, front end uh, using Flutter. But uh, I didn't manage all things, and uh, I didn't still finish um, the project because I am not interested in Web three or Web two. Uh, that's why I'm yeah, doing but, great. You know, great, but you still one of them Web two Web three can't skip it. Whether you are backend, data engineer, machine learning engineer, so you must have awareness. It's like one part is. You know, you, you cannot, it's a, a connected knowledge. Knowledge is not fragmented as we think of it. Of course, you must specialize, but it's, you can't just say, I think we, the reason why we don't ask only Web3 interested people work on this is because you must work on a team and you must understand everyone else and you must not only understand, have exposure to it. That means you really at least tried it, right? So. Uh, you know, the excuse that you are not interested doesn't work. So just from here on, don't even put it as like, I'm not interested, therefore, I think you could just say like, I'm not interested on that one, but I'm going to specialize from the backend side. Or you could say, I am not interested, maybe, or I'm not uh, whatever, but I have done X, Y, Z in a state that is equivalent, that is that is okay. But um, But again, great, I think, could you just, whatever even you manage to talk, whatever you manage to write, whatever you manage to set up, could you just tell us in one minute? Could you show us like your, I don't know, your GitHub or your writing and just take us through for one minute? Oh, the little okay. things. Okay. I think my screen is uh, stuck. 
Maybe like if it is the GitHub that you want to show, you can send the link and I can, okay, it's now, let's come. Okay. Um, this is the setup, I guess, money. It's visible, go now. All I uh, did in my GitHub is set up. Okay. And what have you managed? Did you test all of them? A few of them? Uh, yeah, I just... Uh, the hard seat one is working. Okay. Uh, the brownie uh, is not working. Uh, it says it keeps says error. The brownie. I, I, I didn't finish the brown. It, it's okay. So now imagine selling it. Okay. So imagine this is a, an effort you, you put. So now speak about it just as a way that you are selling yourself. It, it is small, right? For you, like, because you have seen some presentations, maybe you haven't, but you still have to talk about it as if in a in a way that is kind of this is one of the biggest achievement you know it's i mean i'm just saying much more of from the way of talking i've managed to do this and do that and then this was the challenge and this was what we set up you know walk someone through this element just for yeah. 30 seconds now imagine you are a salesperson to sell this i mean uh, okay that's not that doesn't work but try to speak about it in a very positive sense um, first uh, i understand um, i will understand the challenge but uh, uh, from my side i am not um, i try to uh, understand the uh, words uh, i'm new one for those words uh, i didn't even hear uh, uh, about web3 and uh, try to uh, even in week six i'm not able to manage uh, uh, okay so you are speaking negative or, or are you speaking positive are you taking that one to be to be positive um positive okay go on uh, but for, for future i will be try my best in so where manage. is the positive where is the positive part of it is it you have to make it explicit the positive so now you speak about the that you didn't hear much before uh, but it, you didn't explicitly say that is in itself an achievement that's a positive word right so i'm very happy i'm proud of it that i have managed that that's a positive word but by just specifying the negative it doesn't it doesn't imply itself a negative uh, sorry it doesn't imply negative uh, positive so you have to be explicit about the positives Okay, uh, at least I, I read it about Ethereum blockchain, what's Ethereum, uh, what's... Uh, so the word at least is also not positive. So that basically shows that your work is not that much good. Okay. So you have to use like, mm -hmm. you know, like a very explicit word, explicit way of saying, you know, I was before the start of the project, I was in this state and the week all on the week that I have managed to understand X, Y, Z and have tested X, Y, Z. That is a way of like at least communicating confidence and as well as also, um, so go on, still 30 seconds, go on. Uh, okay. 
before I didn't know about uh, Web3 uh, elements, blockchain. Uh, uh, sorry. That's okay. Um, I didn't know about blockchain, Web3, and uh, Web3 network, blockchain networks, and uh, I have no idea about that. At least. No, not at least. Uh, it's okay, I understand. I have no, I have no uh, those words and uh, try to build uh, to know about more further in future. I have interest. Yeah, now. again, it's, it's my point is still about the week that you actually that that you you did. So you can stop the presentation. It's okay. Um, The way to speak about it is about the work related to the week, the week that you have done. So now, even when you say before, it doesn't it doesn't imply anything. So you say before the start of the week, you know, or also, uh, and then you must say like, okay, now I have I have learned about Web three. I have learned about like the different networks, uh, Ethereum networks, and that and that, and I have managed also to achieve this. So you must speak only on the parts that you have achieved. As soon as you start talking about the, the part that you don't, you did not achieve, that is the negative side. So the rule of thumb is that you have to speak five positive things, for, and then about two or one, I think, for every one negative things. At this point, you should just be balancing five positive things, five things that you have achieved, and maybe one you haven't achieved. Okay, that you must next week, this week we will be going through, and you should be looking your work as five things that you have achieved for every five things you have achieved you are allowed to speak one that you haven't achieved okay i will be presented good uh, good one okay great okay so um nardos are you able to now speak can you hear me now Can you, you hear do, me? but it's really breaking. You can see my mic. Yeah, now now is good. Go on. Can you see my screen? It is coming, yeah. Okay. So let me just start by the contract. So, um, so the start is I, I um, initiated the states. So I predefined the states that I'd be using further in the in the project. So whenever an employee is in range, out of range, and when a job is completed. So uh, this this are not much implemented yet, but I will implement it in further uh, implementations. So I will be, uh, whenever an advice is, when employees setting up a device, I would have, I will need the public key, the latitude and longitude and duration. Duration is going to be the, the, the time used for the uh, project to for it to be completed or not and radius is used for the to calculate the distance if the uh, if the employee is in range or not and i will i will mount this to the employee and then i will use this so so whenever i set the i set an employee this function is going to perform uh, i will input the uh, this to the smart contract as the public key, and I will use this parameters as uh, as my matrix to set up to to specify my employees or not, and then um, okay, and then this function is going to perform the employee get to whenever we try to 
seats in the dashboard when an admin, if an admin wants to to monitor the, an employee, it's going to be set up as this one. So I'm going to need the public key, the latitude, and this is just, I'm just going to set this manually. I've tried to deploy the smart contracts here and I haven't implemented this in the mobile application, but I will do that in the future. It's my, it's in the future plan. And then, uh, so to calculate the radius, if the employees are within range or not, I will, I'm going to be using the latitude and I'm going to be using the latitude and longitude and I'm going to, I'm going to be performing this equation and yeah, this is, this is what I've managed to complete. Yeah, people, if you're talking, you're muted. Oh, we can't hear you. Can you guys hear me or am I the one? Okay. Yes, we can. Okay, so Yabibel has just dropped out, so he's back. So yeah, just uh, network interruption. So you were showing Canardos. I can't find you. So is that for me or is Canardos screen is any only? Anastasia, for you, is it? Can you see Naro's screen? He has. She has just uh, stopped sharing, but I could see the the Jimit, the Jimit link, the Jimit session. Okay. I think she also left now, probably. Now just joined. I'm so sorry, my brother just crashed. It's okay. So yeah, you were just showing your brother your app. Okay, yes. So, uh, did you hear what I had to say? I think about I, the smart I've, heard, I've, heard, I've heard all the smart contract and you were going in the ether scan and then after that to the app and mm -hmm. then I dropped. I think I lost my network then. And it's based on error, so it's it's going to be. I can't share that right now. But uh, in the admin side, uh, I've implemented in an admin dashboard to create an employee and list the employees and manage the employees from there. Uh, using the uh, in the web app, as an, an employee can use the smart app, the smart contract to see the employee list. But some functionalities of the smart app, smart contracts are not working for me yet, so, yeah, that's okay. Great, thanks, Nardos. I mean, this is a good work. Why didn't you volunteer to present? Um, I've been having connection issues, that's, yeah. Okay. I've been great. jumping in and out of, I'm sorry about that. It's okay, great. So I want to ask Meron Salam, why didn't you volunteer to speak four minutes about your work? Did you give reason? Salam. Uh, I'm currently on my phone. I'm not on my PC. Uh, there's a, a light outage, so um, I was not sure I can present uh, due to that. Okay. Good, good reason. Okay, Meron. Okay, power is the killer. 
um, know that, okay, but hopefully now we're just gonna go like very short. We were thinking 30 minutes, uh, one minute, right? But I want you to comment, self-evaluate yourself about job readiness, your confidence, and what you have, you know, what you think you need to work on. Okay, so I'm just gonna go very quickly, just a few seconds, Abel. How do you feel? Hello. Um, is it about myself or about the whole self evaluation? Where do you where do you feel like? Are you job ready, confident? You you want to get into interviews, and you know you think that you are psychologically ready? Yeah, I think I can I can I can say that, but. I need to prepare with some things before. Uh, what are the same things? For for example, one of the elements that I want you to start practicing is to be to remove as much as you can, as much as you recognize generic things, things and stuff. More, be more explicit. I mean, for example, uh, just prepare preparation. For example, for this presentation, I didn't prepare. <clears throat> a brief presentation slide. I just have a demo in the, a medium article. Uh, stuff like that. I need to prepare a short brief description or set up camera or something like that. I just to prepare something. Hello? We can hear you a bell, so maybe it's uh, maybe about network again. Can you hear me now? I can hear you, Abel. <clears throat> yeah, maybe it's about network. Sorry about that. Mm. Maybe you could proceed. Did you ask a question or you could proceed to someone else on self evaluation? Abel? Abel, yes, yes. So I was asking, I, I didn't get if there was a question or if we could just proceed to someone else for the self-evaluation. Yeah, yeah, I'm just done, yeah. You can proceed. Ah, okay, so, Gizaheng, it's, it's an overall evaluation. So maybe let's go to the ones who are not able to present for an uh, self-evaluation. We can do... Mm. D A, were you able to present? Could you have your self evaluation on uh, job readiness, as Ibibal had said? D A. Okay, no response from D A. We'll just continue. We don't have that much time. So Ken, Ken, are you able to present? Could you give us your self-evaluation on job readiness? Hello, can you hear me? <laughs> so I was not able to present today, but hopefully this week's project I'll be able about uh, job readiness. I still have some gaps in the technical part, especially on front-end development. It took me so much time this week and I didn't get perfectly what I wanted to implement, so I still need to work on it. That's the biggest challenge I had this week. But, I mean, I, I'm just coming in in the middle, but Partly, skills can be, you know, you, you will feel them. The confidence part and the understanding part of what is work, like what is readiness, is another element that you must master within the next two weeks as well. So it's about earlier, as I was saying, just the confidence, the ability to own little things that you have done. The ability, of course, to articulate what you know, what you don't know. I think employers would be easier if you can explain that. And with, I think, as I said, almost always think of 
five good things that five achievements and mixing them with one you know something that you would improve or you would want to improve okay thank you great so anastasia were you the one continuing so you can call and then i would, I would uh, Okay, okay, it's Stella, then get a hang. Okay, hope that you can hear me. Yes, we do. So, um, in terms of job readiness, technically speaking, I feel like I have a lot of gaps, quite a lot to um, to work on, especially on web development. Uh, but I'm feeling confident with understanding the projects and I'm also getting better with how I'm doing the projects. Um, this week I was not able to present, but definitely in the next um, project, I will make sure that I am one of the people who actually uh, present. I'd like to have the experience. Um, yeah. Great. That's the, the spirit. At this two weeks, that is the spirit we need. It is not, I think, as I was like putting Hikma on the hot seat, it is about really being able to now own it, own things and be able to speak. We must run out of time. Like, and there should be like so much way of people not, not coming. And the decision of a speaking doesn't come once you join. It is before you just get into your laptop the mindset that you have would dictate whether you're going to speak or not. So I want you to just open your laptop, hoping to speak something. Okay. So one thing to speak something. So that's really a spirit. Okay. Design. Okay. Can you hear me? Yes. Uh, regard, uh, in regard to the level of confidence, uh, I feel like I'm in a very good state. Uh, but it doesn't mean that I already clear out everything. I list out a lot of uh, gaps in the previous projects. Like, for example, when I try to uh, implement something with Tray and Rail for uh, to skip from work overload or submission for submissions, I may uh, not internalize some techniques. So that I list out all of them uh, to get prepared and be able to. Uh, uh, present for the employer so that uh, uh, it looks uh, and in good position great yeah Binion. okay can you hear me yes okay uh, regarding uh, confidence i don't think there is a problem there uh, but uh, if you are if you are asking whether my profile is ready, for example, my GitHub, my uh, CV and others. Uh, I think they are ready. They're not perfect, but they're ready enough to start searching a job and uh, uh, improve as I go along. So I don't think there is a perfect time to start the interview. Uh, and uh, regarding my interview skill, uh, I from my last mock, mock interview, I believe I'm, I am somewhat good, but there are some things to improve, like time and usage, especially at, at the introduction uh, uh, step. So if, I'm, if I work on those, I think uh, I can start uh, interviewing and improving as I go along. Great. Very good confidence. And that definitely will help. Um, great. OK, so who wants to, to, to comment or have question? And then we will have a challenge at this. Okay, before that, uh, I need to reflect on my readiness. Yeah. Is it possible? Yeah. Yes, okay. absolutely. Okay, from my side, uh, I think I am fully, I'm fully ready for the machine learning, but for the others uh, part, uh, I need, a, I should have to work on many things. And uh, there is a uh, thing that I will uh, improve. That one is communication, as I have uh, I had comment from the team also before three weeks, and I am working on uh, on that. Just talking with people, uh, uh, three minutes, two minutes, five minutes a day. Uh, I will optimize that one. And uh, 
from data engineering side, I, I have worked on Spark, but uh, last time it was in group that you know, uh, Kafka and the Airflow, I, uh, I should have to improve my uh, performance on Kafka and the Airflow. And from Web3, uh, what I'm proud of it is uh, before uh, when we work on uh, Algorand projects on week six, I'm not uh, that much good on doing even uh, on creating the contract code, uh, but this week at least I have developed the mobile uh, app uh, from by Flutter, and I have written th some contract which uh, which query uh, which which connected with the app and uh, read and access some data uh, based on deployment I made. So I'm so happy that I have uh, get that one, and uh, even I need to acknowledge the DAP University. Uh, which uh, post uh, Ethereum project on many things and uh, using that one, I, I'm good now. So for the future, I will uh, improve my Kafka airflow uh, and the DBT warehouse and so on things on data engineering and uh, on Web3. I need to elaborate on contract contract writing, it's just writing many codes, practicing it, I will improve myself. So this is, uh, but from machine learning side, I'm fully, I have experienced it before also. And uh, what I need to acknowledge uh, Ten Academy is I am very, <clears throat> now I am very, uh, software, uh, all software development frameworks. I'm not good before, but um, now I get a good knowledge on that and I'm fully fledged. I have full fledged knowledge on that and I will do my best, I think. So thank you very much. Great. Awesome. Again, yeah, it's a matter of timing. I mean, even now, I mean, it's good. Like I, I let you finish because it was a very good self-reflection, but still you must know what like 30 seconds I said intentionally, and you should be listening that you should be listening to what, what kind of the conversation and the setup and the, the conditions that is set up for you. And, and I think acknowledging that you have heard it, but you still want to say more and therefore requesting that is an essential component. That's what's kind of grows and ownership of the space. And another part that I really will say is that exactly when you get, you, you don't speak, like some people have that ability that they basically can't get anywhere and they speak. Most others need to really actually think first if they believe that, okay, when they just join, open their laptop, if they just say, I'm going to speak and I'm going to be speaking, I'm going to be paying attention X, Y, Z, your mind will set you up for that, right? So really um, think of this pre, it's called the uh, priming your mind. So you prime uh, the element. And I think the confidence that being able to speak, however you, you, you feel that you, you want to say negative, always just mix, you know, keep in mind, people just with one negative you, you say it, you can only erase it by three positives in their mind. So that basically means there's no excuse for you to just keep reflecting on your weakness. You must really reflect and you must, you know, say some things like at least, you know, my, the, the formula that I usually just hands on is like something like five good things. And then one, it's not even bad things. It's not about five, five good thing and one bad, no, five, very good things about you and one limitation, one improvement you must make. So know that that's the kind of the, you know, the culture you are dealing with is not the culture that you, you used to, you get used to. So pay attention on that. Okay. I think that's, that's good. We'll continue this week on these reflections and, and I'm just gonna maybe Anastasia is that, is that you or anyone else in Ten Academy, we can stop this recording and we can go to the, the challenge. I think because